Hi there, welcome to ATO channel. Today in this video, we'll explore how to use the upgraded model of ATO's VFD GK3000 to ensure a stable water pressure for your water supply system. Let's dive in. Let's begin with the wiring. As shown in the provided diagram, connect the power supply to the terminal block and connect the output terminals to the motor. To complete the setup, configure the control output for 4 to 20 mA by setting the jumper to the pin high. Additionally, we'll connect the level sensor to the 24 volts power supply. By establishing these connections, the VFD unit can control the peripheral equipment, in this example the level sensor, through the control panel and control terminals. Now let's move on to the parameter settings. Access the parameter menu by pressing the menu button and press enter to access the P0 group of function parameters. Enter function code P0.01. Set it to 10 using the up key. Next, modify parameter P0.03. Press enter to access the parameter and ensure it is set to 0. Adjust parameter P0.05 the maximum frequency setting and set it for 100. Proceed to parameter P0.06 and confirm the value is set to 50. Access parameter P0.07, the lower frequency limit, and set it for 0. Now let's move on to parameter P3.21, the CI minimum input voltage, and set it to 2. Modify P3.22 to 0 and P3.23 to 10. Change P3.24 to 100. Next, let's move on to the adjustments of P6 group of function parameters. Access P6.00 and change it to 0. Modify parameter P6.01 PID digital set to 50. Change P6.02 PID feedback channel CI to 1. Adjust parameter P6.05 proportional gain KP1 to 5. For parameter P6.30, the given pressure, set it to 0.7. Modify P6.31, the maximum pressure value, to 1. Change P6.32, the minimum pressure value, to 0 0.005. Modify P6.33, the alarm pressure value, upper limit, to 0 0.09. Address P6.34, the alarm pressure value, lower limit, to 0 0.01. Change P6.35, the wake-up pressure value, to 0 0.015 such that when the water consumption increases and the water pressure is less than the set value, the VFD will enter the working state and run at full frequency. Modify P6.36 to 5. This function refers to the duration time of VFD's full frequency running against wake-up pressure. Change P6.37 to 0.06. This parameter asks you to set sleep pressure level threshold. When the water pressure exceeds its value, the frequency gradually decreases until reaching the sleep frequency. Address P6.38 to 10. This parameter requires you to decide for how long you'd like the water pressure to maintain at the sleep pressure level. Modify P6.39 to 25. It's asking you to set the sleep frequency. Change P6.40 to 10 so that the VFD will keep running at sleep frequency for 10 seconds. Modify P6.41 to 0. In this way, when the VFD wakes up, the sleep pressure is set to match the actual pressure, and the VFD will run at sleep frequency. With the parameter setup complete, our VFD is now ready. Now let's test the setup using a bucket of water as a simulation. First, let's check the current water pressure in the bucket. To monitor the pressure, activate the monitoring feature of the VFD by navigating to parameter B0.47 and confirming the activation. During the test, the following actions will take place. When the pressure reaches the desired wake-up level of 0 0.015 MPa, this pressure level will be maintained for 5 seconds. After that, the motor will start running, gradually increasing the frequency to 50 Hz. Once the pressure reaches the sleep level of 0 0.06 MPa, the sleep pressure level will be maintained for 10 seconds. After that, the frequency will gradually decrease to the sleep frequency of 25 Hz. The sleep frequency will continue for 10 seconds. Afterward, the motor will stop and the VFD enters sleep mode. Once the pressure drops to the wake-up level again, the entire cycle will repeat. And once again, all the relevant VFD function parameters for water level control are collected here for review. That concludes our demo on the parameter setup of ATO's VFD GK3000 upgraded model for achieving custom water pressure in a water supply system. Visit ATO.com today and explore our range of VFDs, level sensors, and other industrial automation solutions. Subscribe to ATO channel for more industrial automation solutions and tutorials. 
don't forget to like and share this video. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time.